If you're watching this video right now, your Starlink unit is probably offline. You don't have internet and you're wondering what to do. You probably see an error message in the Starlink app like this that says offline, Starlink unplugged or rebooting. This is the most common Starlink issue. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through some troubleshooting steps to help you identify the problem and fix it. Now, it doesn't matter which kind of dish you have. You can have the newer style like this Gen 3 standard or the older standard actuated. Doesn't matter, this tutorial applies to all Starlink versions. All right, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. So let's start with the first troubleshooting step. The first thing you wanna do is open up the Starlink app. This is your command center for your Starlink system. This tells you basically everything you need to know about the status. And you wanna just double check the error message that you're getting and the status of your system. So as you can see right here, my system says offline with a message of Starlink unplugged or rebooting. And what that means is that the router is connected to your phone, you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, but the router can't see your dish. This message can be caused by several things that we're gonna get into in the next troubleshooting steps here. But the first step here is just make sure we have the right error message that we're troubleshooting the right thing. In this video, we're looking into Starlink Unplugged or Rebooting. All right, so the first thing that you wanna to do to try to fix this unplugged or rebooting error message is simply restart your system. And the best way to do that is to head over to your Starlink router where it's plugged in and just unplug the power cord. I'd wait about 30 seconds and then plug it back in. Now you wanna give your Starlink unit about 15 minutes to fully boot up. But real quick while we're here at the router, just check and make sure you have the power LED. On the Gen 2 router, it's on the bottom. On the Gen 3 router, it's on the uh, front left corner if you're facing the router. So if the router reboot didn't work, and after about 15 or 20 minutes or so, you're still seeing the same error message in the Starlink app where it says Starlink unplugged or rebooting. The next thing we're gonna do is inspect the Starlink cable at both ends. So the first thing you need to do is unplug your system. So we don't want any power going through the Starlink cable as we're unplugging it, receiving it. Once you've unplugged it, go ahead and flip your router over. We'll start at the router side since we're already here and you want to unplug the Starlink cable from your router and just do a quick inspection on it. You want to look to make sure that there are no burnt or broken pins, that this connector is straight and doesn't look damaged at all. Uh, you want to check the moisture seal, make sure nothing has gotten through and corroded the, the connectors or the conductors or anything. And then you also want to take a look inside the router connection point here. Um, make sure again that there's no damage or uh, corrosion or anything like that that may be impeding the connection between the Starlink cable and the router. If that looks good, just go ahead and plug it back in. Leave your Starlink router unplugged for now because we're going to head up to the dish and check that side of the Starlink cable now. Now we need to inspect the Starlink cable on the dish side. So head to where your Starlink dish is installed and go ahead and pop it out of the mount and you're going to want to unplug this cable connector and do the same thing like you did on the router. Inspect the cable connector for damage, any bent pins, any corrosion, and you can't really see up inside this standard actuated connection point very well, but try your best to check and make sure there's no damage, uh, corrosion, anything like that. And then after you're done, after you've verified that there's no damage, you wanna go ahead and reinstall the cable, making sure that it's fully seated. And you can see on this Gen 2 standard actuated, it's very important that this cable connector is flush with the bottom of this mast right here. So you can see that it's fully flush. If you have it even a little bit lower, it you can run into this unplugged or rebooting error message. So go ahead and fully seat that back up in there and reinstall it into your mount. We're gonna head back to the Starlink router, plug it in. Again, give it about 15, 20 minutes to boot up and then check your app to see if that error message has gone away. All right, so you've tried the reboot, you've tried inspecting and reseating the cables. There's one more thing that you can try to fix this by yourself, and that is factory resetting the Starlink router. All right, so the process to factory reset your router depends on which generation of router that you have. So this is the Gen 2 router, and to do this, you have to power cycle it six times in a row. So all that means is just plug it in, wait a moment, unplug it, do that six times in a row. The last time, go ahead and plug it in. Give it about five minutes to boot up. 
In your phone network settings, you should see a brand new unsecured network just called Starlink. So if you connect to that, you'll be able to set your network name and password again. And within about 10 or 15 minutes after that, you should have your system fully booted up again. Go ahead and check the app and see if that unplugged or rebooting error message has gone away. If you have the Gen 1 or the Gen 3 router, you'll have a factory reset button. Uh, on the Gen 3 router, it's located on the back cover. On the Gen 1 router, it's located on the bottom. You just press that factory reset button and that will do the same thing as the power cycles on the Gen 2. So if you check the app again and you still have the Starlink offline unplugged and rebooting error message, unfortunately that means that there's not much else you can do from here. You probably have a hardware issue, whether it be the cable or the router or the dish itself. So the best thing to do at this point is to reach out to Starlink customer support. You can do that in the app or on the website. In the app, you just go into the app and go to support and fill out the information there to get your support ticket through. On the website, you go to support.starlink.com and click on the issue that you're having, go through the little steps, hit the little thumbs down icon on the article that's most relevant to your situation, and it'll give you a form to fill out a support ticket. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this guide helped you out a little bit. If not, really sorry. I know it sucks when your Starlink internet goes down, but hopefully you can get it resolved pretty quickly through customer support.